Obstructive sleep apnea is the most common sleep-related uh, breathing disorder. Um, it's estimated that um, at least 5% of the female population in the United States and up to 15% of the male population have uh, sleep apnea. Um, very common symptoms that people may um, notice themselves or may be brought to their attention by their bed partner um, are snoring, gasping in their sleep, pauses in their sleep, uh, frequent awakenings, um, not sure why you're awake, and then trouble falling back asleep. Um, patients may often wake up several times at night to go to the bathroom. These are all very common uh, symptoms of sleep apnea. Um, and untreated sleep apnea really affects the quality of your sleep. So that can subsequently really, uh, be related to um, daytime sleepiness, poor concentration, fatigue, um, subsequent weight gain or more weight gain than you're already experiencing. Um, and then even uh, untreated sleep apnea has been shown to be associated with uh, cardiovascular disease and patients with sleep apnea also have a higher prevalence of chronic medical conditions such as diabetes. The most important thing is to talk with your doctor about your symptoms and either your doctor um, will subsequently order a sleep study or they may send you to a sleep specialist and then we help coordinate that evaluation. Uh, the traditional sleep study is where we have patients come in and sleep overnight in our sleep lab. We monitor breathing, heart rate, oxygen level, and if we do see significant sleep apnea, we may also on that study night try um, a form of treatment which is called uh, CPAP, which is a special mask that's over the mouth or nose that uses humidified air pressure to treat sleep apnea. What we see with sleep apnea is repetitive crowding of the tissues in the back of the throat that obstructs airflow in the natural um, process of breathing and that is what impacts your quality of your sleep because you often may stay in much lighter sleep or have frequent arousals throughout the night. What the CPAP does is help regulate your breathing to get your breathing um, more comfortable, reduce the fluctuations in your oxygen level, ensure more um, deeper sleep, more restful, restorative sleep. Uh, for patients who are otherwise healthy and may just have symptoms of snoring and daytime sleepiness but not other comorbid conditions like significant heart um, or lung issues, then we may have a patient do a home sleep study where you meet with a technician during the day and then go home and sleep with some limited equipment that monitors your breathing, your oxygen level, and then return the equipment the next day. The obvious benefit of that is that you're sleeping in the comfort of your own home for patients who are concerned about sleeping in the sleep lab. We look at the patient and their degree of symptoms and then the severity of their sleep apnea as far as what treatment we recommend. Um, very often if patients are symptomatic and they have moderate to severe sleep apnea, we recommend a trial of CPAP since that's what we know works best to treat sleep apnea. Um, other pa patients may be candidates for positional therapy if they have predominantly uh, sleep apnea on their back but not when they're sleeping on their side. Um, additional candidates um, may be appropriate for evaluation of an oral appliance which is a specialized mouth guard that helps advance your jaw forward when you're sleeping to relieve obstruction and crowding from the tissues in the back of your throat. Um, patients may have certain anatomical um, issues like enlarged tonsils or deviated septum where they may benefit from evaluation by an ear, nose, and, nose and throat surgeon. Um, and then lastly, uh, a number of patients with sleep apnea also have coexisting obesity, so we really work with them on weight loss efforts.